It's a demonstration that could go on for days. Protesters, as you know, have set up camp at UCLA. It appears not everyone is welcome. Today, tense moments unfolded when a student appeared to be forced out by demonstrators. Let's take a live look at the encampment, uh, where about 50 tents right now are set up. Protesters have no plans to leave anytime soon. Looks like they're having a good time there right now. We brought this to you first yesterday, still there today. With that, we welcome you to the Fox 11 News at 5. Now simulcast on our sister station, Fox 11 Plus. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michelson, and uh, Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf, once again live at UCLA today. Uh, Matthew, is there any indication that police are breaking this up anytime soon, or is this going to be a weekend of uh, encampment at UCLA? Alex, we have no idea when this could end. Right now, it sounds like a concert. I can barely hear myself speak. The counter-protesters supporting Israel are blasting music so that the demonstrators inside this camp can't hear what they're doing. It appears to be working, at least for now. I can barely hear myself talk. But this, as the campaign continues. Pro-Palestinian protesters fortifying their camp at UCLA. What does this sign mean to you? I am not allowed to talk to you. Why not? A large encampment in the quad now includes a buffet, medical tent, and media check-in. Is there a media person we can speak with? Uh, let me check. The camp surrounded by metal fencing and private security. We're really just trying to focus on our cause and um, get UCLA to divest. Organizers here setting up camp until the university divest any funds going to Israel. We have not heard from UCLA. The administration likes to play blind and deaf to our protests. We the, the group chanting and making signs some view as offensive towards Jewish people. Do you denounce Hamas? Our concern and our priorities is the genocide happening in Gaza. So you can't denounce Hamas? Again, my concern and my priorities and my focus is on the genocide happening in Gaza. <laughs> Outside the camp, counter protesters supporting Israel. And we keep the Jews of Israel safe. Many of them also Jewish. I'm an alumni here. My brother goes here. He came home last night. He just didn't feel like he was on a peaceful, safe campus. Milagro Jones, a student wearing pink inside the camp, where demonstrators say he didn't have permission to be. Proving a point that if I'm a student, I can go anywhere on my campus I want to go. Protesters surrounding him and covering our camera on the ground. Sky Fox above as eventually he sits down. Bro said, you look Israeli. I'm like, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult the way you saying it. You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to tell me I look good? UCLA staff members holding a banner outside the camp. I just don't want our students to be arrested in mass. <laughs> a demonstration that could go on for days. And we uh, just got a statement from UCLA saying we are following University of California's system-wide policy guidance, which directs us not to request law enforcement involvement preemptively, only if absolutely necessary. So for now, all we're seeing is these private security people with their bikes, absolutely no city police or even very few campus police right now. Go ahead, send it back to you. Okay, so essentially what's happening right now is the, the Jewish students or the pro-Israeli students are blasting music, much of it Hebrew music, so that these other folks are so annoyed that they leave. Is that basically what's happening? Well, I think there was some sort of demonstration happening inside the camp that they were trying to drown out. So instead, like you were saying, the uh, pro-Israeli students over on this side of the quad where I'm standing right now are instead blasting this music, and you cannot hear anything about what's happening inside. Uh, there are a couple of the demonstrators here at the gate, uh, along with this security line, but that's about it, and it's very hard to hear out here. And, and so not at all what you saw when you covered the protest at USC two days ago, which ended on the very same day because police were brought in. Contrast what you're seeing here today. Yeah, it's just night and day different. Police uh, really controlled that from the minute it started, tearing down the tents right away. Here, obviously, USC is a private campus. UCLA is not. And the tents are here, and they're here to stay uh, until further notice, really. And uh, again, instead, this is something that's different than yesterday. They now have this metal barricade behind the actual wooden fence that the demonstrators put up yesterday. And right now, uh, with this happening, we have the bikes here as well.